women do not date out of their race enough and god please release my sisters from the shackle of only dating black men i feel like it's time for us to explore our options it's way more of life to see way more experience to have experiences to have hey guys welcome back to my channel so as for the title guys you can see in today's video we're gonna be talking once again about this couple that you're viewing here on your screen just in case you guys aren't necessarily familiar with them they are indeed here on youtube her yeah. name is rose miller his name is brett basically her story is that unfortunately her like so many black women she also fell into the trap of the least producing males of society so rose basically came out and she said that she was a two-time baby mama to one of the least producing males of society so she said after that she decided that she was going to work on herself so ultimately after she started working on herself then she claimed that she met her now husband not baby daddy brett he got with her he married her now i think she also had two kids with him so altogether she had four boys her two first son with the dusty baby daddy and now her two latest son are ultimately with her husband brett so well, recently rose got herself caught up in a situation because she and her husband they were on live again they do have a family channel so i guess they were just on live doing whatever it was that they were doing rose came out and she claimed that she was drunk because she told her husband that she basically was the one that were funding their lifestyle and naturally because the least producing males of society along with me identify woman they're always out here nitpicking at these type of relationship whenever they see a black woman go out here and she decide that she's gonna explore her option we know that the least producing males of society they can't really handle that and in conjunction the woman that are male identify they because they themselves they know in fact that they settle so now that you as a black woman you're going out here lucky for rose she claimed that she learned from her mistake she was the two-time baby mama to this dust bucket and basically now that she's a wife these dust might they can't really handle that so rose basically after the whole thing went viral i even spoke about it if you guys haven't seen that video i'm gonna link it down in the comment section down below so you guys feel free to go and check it out and naturally like i mentioned previously because male identify women as well as the least producing males of society they're always looking at these type of relationship just hoping and praying for something to go wrong so they can come out here and do what they've been doing for the longest is trying to scare black women from going out here dating better group of male so ultimately in this situation naturally there were no difference right so i'm not really sure why but rose decided that she was gonna go on tasha k show again rose why would you do that if tasha is indeed a male identified woman so naturally what tasha is gonna do is that she's gonna try to attempt to make you as a black woman who decided that you were gonna go out and date a better group of men she's gonna Gonna attempt to make you look bad she's gonna attempt to make you feel bad for going out here choosing yourself doing what's best for you and your two boys that you had back then why simultaneously she's also gonna be trying to make the least producing males of society feel and think that they got more going on for themselves than what they actually do right so nonetheless guys listen to this clip see what tasha had to say i also want you guys to pay close attention to rose respond because i truly feel like she handled it well naturally tasha she was going out of her way to disrespect her but personally i do think that rose handled it well so guys listen to this clip see what tasha as well as rose has to say and then we will come back with more you kind of spearheading into the algorithm with this white man who you kind of deem as better than any other man that you came across, especially black men. And I saw a lot of the videos, you were saying another black man's trash is a white man's treasure. Like I've seen like the clips and to me, like I said, they, you may not agree, they do give race bait. And for you to be 19 and your baby daddy at the time being 20, you know, that's a decision that y'all both made. Is it fair to put it on him that he is the reason as to why you guys 
with South, why he's not able to afford to take care of the kids. Could you have been just as equally kind of toxic in that relationship as well, too? Absolutely. And it's not something that's talked about enough at all, especially mm -hmm. in the Black community. Mm -hmm. When we have babies after our hormones are so out of whack. And so when I was with him, I had a baby. And then a year later, you know, I have a baby, postpartum, baby, postpartum again. So, right. like, yeah, I'm like going through things that he can't, he can't understand, doesn't know how to try to understand. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not him and like the past, that's neither here nor there to me. Like, that's really not a big deal to me. My thing is, we're 30, 32, like, take care of your kids. Okay. <laughs> that, that's but, he, my but, he, but he's doing that, situation. even though, but he's, he's working a job so that he can pay child support, correct? So no, they're he's taking... not. He's working a job because he has to work a job because it's a marriage. He won't be able to provide for himself if he wasn't working a job. So after I put him on child support, we went a whole year without him paying anything. They are paying very minimum just to, like, stay kind of afloat. Um, uh -huh. You only have to pay $400 for two children. That's not a lot at all whatsoever. And so finally, he wasn't paying, wasn't paying. He got his license revoked and all of that nonsense. Uh -huh. So I finally pressed the issue where I made the government take it directly from his check. He doesn't have a say in that coming out. So uh -huh. no, he's not taking care of his kids, like, at all whatsoever. Um, I have messages from last year with me saying in January, hey, do you want to pay for the tickets right now. They're only $99 each child. I'll buy one ticket and you'll buy the other so that you could get them in June. No, nah, I'll take care of it. June came, he didn't get the kids. And then he flies out to his mother's house in August, take a couple pictures and then like post the pictures and pretending like he cares for them or wants to do something when he's seen them for four days at his mother's house. And I've heard that story too many times in my own community. How many black men have you dated in your community? Yeah, besides your ex-husband, baby daddy, how many black men have you dated? Maybe two or three besides him. And so you're done with black men? Naturally, like if I was not to be with my husband, I would not desire to waste my time trying to see, trying to find the right black man. Now, if I just somehow just fell in love, you know, then I would be open to that. I don't, I'm not closing. I'm not telling people to open horizons while I'm closing mine, but they wouldn't be like my first option. That's, that's kind of strong. You have a black son, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if black women were to skip over your son and, and say, Hey, based off of, uh, you know, my experiences with three black men, I'm no longer prioritizing men in my own race. Like you're raising a black son without a black father. And his, right now his father figure is a white man. Luckily, he has a great um, grandfather, which is my daddy and also the baby daddy's father. They go to the baby daddy's father and mother's house every summer. Mm -hmm. They didn't go this summer, but um, they do have like black men in their lives. But um, if a woman was to skip out on my son because it was her preference, I would in no way, shape or form be offended. Just like if my sons were to skip, if any of them were to say a white woman is not my first option or a black woman is not my first option, it's just his preference. Now, if he's like down in black women, like now nah, I don't want to be with no black women because they ugly and they this and that, you know, that would be different. But preference, it's just preference. But your preference is based off of bad experiences with black men. No, my preference is um, based off of factual statistics. So, like, would I, knowing that we are the least, and knowing, yeah, would I, I just wouldn't want to, especially at my age, waste my time dating someone that I know probably likely is not going to take me anywhere far other than the date, so. So, if, is it fair to say that if Black men were doing better, they could easily become your preference again? Absolutely, yeah. Like, if statistics were, if there, if our mindset changed as a whole, absolutely. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Is it fair to say that you're only with the white man because you can't get the black man that you want? Oh, no. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't Why would you so. say that? I don't think so. I just, I prefer them based on their morals and their values, and it's just different. Like, and I speak well, about... White, the white men have better morals and values than black men and, and white oh, men I believe 
were the creators say American. of the so white men were the creators of the the slave trait but they have better morals and values than African black African Americans in 2024 yet yeah, I don't know about it 1920 but in 2024 as a whole I believe so and I speak on African American black men because African men are different they are more likely to take care of their families. Like other black men are not different than African American. I'm not just speaking on black men. But, I'm but, on but it was a, but you do know when we're talking about statistics and facts, you do know that when we look at why black men don't take care of black women, it's because of white men separating black men and black women from their families. And we just came out of the civil rights movement literally during our mom's time. My mom went to school in the 1960s, so we're literally talking about 40, 50 years. Yeah, and so this, I do get it. This cycle, it's like... And this is due to the laws that white men put in place to ensure that black women like me and you would look at black men and say, we prefer to be with a white man because white men physically couldn't measure up to a black man so what they did was attack them mentally spiritually and financially so that we would look at them as the go-to I, I do know that and i get it but there comes a point where you like you can't keep making excuses so there you have it ladies and gentlemen tasha k being very disrespectful being very hostile but like i said in my personal opinion i do feel like rose handled it well i think that it's very interesting that tasha basically had the audacity to ask this grown-ass woman so the only reason why you're with a white man is because black men don't want you why does black woman as well as black male continue to talk as if they're a prize black men both women that really love themselves that has any type of self-value do you guys know that we don't even have y'all on our radar why would we go to the most producing males of society simply because we can't get one of y'all because y'all know these men literally are out here wanting to be hypergamous they're out here in their soft boy era so for Tasha to have the audacity, because we know that her ego was hurt, right? And I truly feel like the reason why Tasha, as well as so many other male-identified black women, has an issue with women like Rose is because she was indeed left to be a single baby mama by a black man. And now that this white man came in, basically made her his wife, basically now they have ultimately created a family together. I truly feel like women like Tasha K, they really have a problem with that because you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but Tasha K, far as I understand, she's not necessarily with a U.S. black male, but she's with a continental black male. And unfortunately for Tasha K, like I have been telling you guys for the youngest, regardless of where these men are located geographically, unfortunately, they all share the same ideology. Even though this dusty black male basically abandoned this woman with two kids, Tasha K still is out here trying to tell this woman, but he's still providing for him. First and foremost, a responsible man, if the relationship between you and the woman has ultimately came to a demise, if you're a responsible father, you're not going to abandon your kids because you no longer have a relationship with the mother of your kids. But unfortunately, we know that this is what these males tend to do, right? If they don't abandon you within your third trimester, they know that eventually they're also going to walk out not only on you, but as well as their kids because these males seem like whenever their relationship with the woman of their kids come to an end, it seems like they also tend to forget about their kids. She also spoke about how whenever the few times that he do see his two son, that he will run and take photos with them and post them on social media. You guys That's also heard Rose saying the reason why she prefer black male is because of their value and their morals. Notice that Rose then went on and talk about V, talk about black men being out of shape because we know for the most part, black men are walking around here looking as if they're nine months pregnant, but these will be the same group of male that will open up their mouth to say that you as a black woman, you're overweight. Notice Tasha is literally defending the least producing males of society with her life. 
when these male on the other hand would never return the favor to her she basically said you're telling me white man has more morals and value than black man do you not know that they were the creator of the slave trade tasha k do you know who had the first slave within the u.s if you don't, I do suggest you go and Google it. I'm not going to give you the answer, which but I think is quite interesting because just like Rose said, I'm not talking about what happened when my ancestor were alive, what happened two, 300 years ago. I'm talking about what is currently going on in 2024. Notice that Tasha K didn't really have a rebuttal for that because Tasha K, like so many male identify black women, unfortunately because of women that share this type of ideology is the reason why black male feel like they don't have to go out here and they have to be a man. It's because unfortunately grown ass women like Tasha K continue to infantize them and this is why these male don't feel like they have to go out here and dismantle the system that has been put in place to continuously keep them in the global position that they are. Tasha K is very vocal about the fact that these men, according to you, Rose, has better morals and value, yet because of these meals, we were living in Jim Crow, because of these meals, they went and they put in place a system that were meant to keep you as well as black male as the bottom. And my question to you, Tasha K, would be, just like Rose stated, we're talking about 2024. What is black men doing in 2024 so that they can dismantle these system that according to you, white men put in place to keep them at the bottom? And the answer is absolutely nothing. Just let Rose say, because of black male, because of male identified women like Tasha K, it is why these male continue to be subjugated. It is why they're viewed as the children as society. Just like Rose say, why are we continuing to make excuses for these grown ass male if they weren't comfortable in the position that they are? Why aren't they out there trying to do something to get over it? Because we know whenever that one or two percent of black male decide that they want to go out here and they want to go to school they want to pursue a higher education whenever they become a lawyer a doctor we know that they're not going back to the community what they're gonna do they're gonna go to the most successful community which is the white community they're gonna get a bottom shelf either Becky Maria or Ling Ling they're gonna continue to invest in a community that is already very well established and unfortunately this is why the black community globally continues to be in a predicament that it is but nonetheless guys once again i'm not sure why rose decided that she was gonna go on this male identified woman show because once again Tasha K, in conjunction with these male, the only thing that they're praying for is for a black woman that goes out here, that date interracially, that have a higher success rate of either relationship or marriage with non-black male. They don't want to see that because like I said, Tasha K, I can assure you guys, this woman is probably taking care of her African husband because unfortunately the vast majority of black women know that whenever they go out here and they tend to date the least producing males of society for the most part they know one they either gonna fully take care of this male or two they're gonna be in a 50 50 relationship where these males are cheating on them they're abusing them mentally physically we already know it's not financially because these males don't have any type of resource right but again, guys, I'm not sure why Rose decided to go on this show. But nonetheless, guys, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about Tasha K and all of these other male identified women as well as the least producing males of society. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about them being so upset about the fact that us black women continue to go out here we're dating better men and regardless if what rose said was true or not about her funding their lifestyle like i said i'm pretty sure she was probably doing it while she was with this black male so the only reason why they're upset is because she's out here not taking care of one of these dusties what are your thoughts and opinion are please get in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys
black women it's time to hold ourselves accountable because we are reaping what we sowed we have lied and gassed black men up for centuries letting them think that they are kings with no kingdoms letting them think that they are the emperor when they are naked and now we are dealing with the consequences of those actions instead of being honest with black men and requiring them to do better for not only themselves but the community that they help create we have allowed them to tear it apart and then put it back together quietly behind their backs and then still let them get the credit for it Thank you.